Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Professions. My name is Maya Y, aka Big Daddy. I like that shit. So <laughs> we have you like it? Yeah, this week I like it. I'm here with a beautiful Polly Paquette. With a beautiful Montana. Ah. <laughs> How was the week, guys? Oh, yeah. Just there. There. Dramatic, but there. Sorry, I felt like there was something missing. I was like, we need to introduce you, but yeah, it's because yeah. my name, you know. And then, <laughs> so when you jumped in, I was like, yeah, yeah, come on, she's yeah, missing. Yeah, missing. Is missing. Come on, then, she's missing. Anonymous lunch. Mm. <laughs> so the, the week was just there. There. <laughs> was just there, yeah. Yeah. That's also something. Yeah. So, guys, today we have a very interesting topic. How was your week? I was there. <laughs> it was okay. The week is always the same. Guys, the same that week's book, always just there. It's always there. Hey, look. There's ups, downs. Guys, w- once I'm once I'm filthy rich, I'm going to Colombia. Really? Ooh. I don't know why. I always feel like I should just go to Colombia. When I feel like the Caribbean. One of my friends, she's in Rio now, mm-hmm. and it's Carnival. Yeah, and I just say in Rio. If you guys are in Rio, I know. So one of my friends, kind of like, he was like, kind of like, <laughs> very much not wanted to work anymore. So, because he lived, he used to live in in. Oh, he still lives in Germany. Mm. So, anytime I text him, he's always like, "Yeah, I'm in Colombia." Then he would be like, "Yeah, I'm in New Zealand." I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He said, "Like this year, I'm just traveling." Wow. So until he, until he moves love, back to Ghana, love it for him. Yeah, love it. For honestly, him. so I, w- I wish to do the same too. But I need money. I hate spending money when I don't have money. Mm. Yeah. No, some people don't mind. They don't care. Some people don't really care about being in the reds. Just be spending, okay. spending, Bank spending. Bank account can't allow me to be in the reds. It's a student account. Really? No reds. No. <laughs> you don't have the papers. So you got to <laughs> be in the in the pa- the, pla- in the green. Yeah. Really. Mm. You're not. We're not allowed to have minus unless you get a credit card, like a student credit card. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get one. So. And that's that, that's actually that's actually nice segue. Yeah. Like, how is it actually for you guys moving to Austria? <laughs> I've been here all my life. Look, I'm an Austrian. No, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't want to stop. No, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. we have to start from a, from the point of you guys actually sitting in Africa and thinking to yourself, like, you know <laughs> what? I'm gonna move to Austria because that would never cross. But maybe Germany or yeah. like nicer. That's places. what I wanted to know too. How the hell Austria, Paula? Yeah, I even I want to know, man. Yeah, what the, no, what I the wanted fuck? to. I've told you guys this story before. I was I wanted to go to America, mm-hmm. and I was about to. But now you have. But now you hate America. Then I fell in love with mm-hmm. the 28 year old guy, mm-hmm. and then he was like, "I can't do long distance, blah blah blah." So I gave up my dream of going to an Ivy League school, pause, and pause, then. Pause, pause. <laughs> Yeah. Ladies. Yeah. No, don't, don't give do up, anything for love. Don't, don't give up your dream for a man. Stupid do no, no, how no, no, you no, no, feel. No. You pushed you your trust Ivy in a nigga. Are Stupid you, hoe how you feel. Do you know how many men are in Ivy League schools that you can actually chop and balance? But anyway, so this guy was a dancer, complete a hopeless guy. <laughs> Okay, gosh, I don't want to say this in case he's wait, 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 wait. Pause. It's already out there. No, 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 I have to pause, I have to pause again. Okay. So you, you gave your career for I a dancer. My, a dancer. For a smooth criminal. Yeah, he, he didn't have a full-time job. He was just dancing in church. That was his, that was no, his Paula, job. Listen to what you're saying. <laughs> you guys, the first date he took me, no offense to anybody who's in this class, but I was taken to drink porridge from a calabash. That was my date, you guys. Can you imagine? I don't even know what that is. Oh, <laughs> porridge, my like porridge from a calabash. Calabash, a calabash is like this is actually a, pump, a dried pumpkin shell. Yeah, pumpkin shell, mm-hmm. and he couldn't because he couldn't afford nice. to take me somewhere expensive. Okay. You know, vintage vibes, vintage Ooh. vibes. <laughs> uh, white women would like that because, like, this is yeah, Africa. Yeah. exotic. But for years, yeah. an Africans like, come nah, on, guys. it was like really. But I, I gave up my dream, and then I ended up staying. My mom, I remember my mom telling me, "He leave you. Like, where do you think you guys are going? First of all, you're in different social classes, and two, he's jobless. He's a dancer. He's nothing." Hmm. The more you, the more you speak, the more I learn <laughs> about you. So no one, I've gone through so life that, that means that means you have spent all your credit on building it, man. Exactly. That's yes. what I. That's what I have so said too. She's d- she's done it. She's yeah, done the paperwork. I've been there, done that. Don't I feel like we can anymore. only build a man twice. You can and try. I, and I have done it twice. So I feel like she's done it more. Now, I've no twice. Now you need oh, a return oh, on investment. Now you need a return on investment. 
now I need to be, yeah, I need my return on investment. And so with this guy, I would always encourage him. You know, he wanted to be a photographer. I supported him. I would go hold soft boxes uh, <laughs> as he's taking pictures. I would help him edit. Like, I did it all. And now oh, he's married. Just he's just doing well. But uh, where am I? Really? Let me not share. So I gave that up. And then after some time, he dumped me. Mm-hmm. He was like, this isn't working out. Why? Um, Why did he dump you? I think because I, <laughs> I was young, we weren't having sex. Mm. We were Christians, mm. right? Um, and the church was starting to get suspicious of our relationship. How old were you? I 17? was 17 going Great. on 18. And, and he was 28. 28. And he was 28. So it's already, he's giving me some vibes that he was he's eyeing you. Giving, he is giving some vibes, and I must pe- say. Man, <laughs> and I was looking like a cockroach. That one I have to say. Like... <laughs> I had shaved my hair. I was just looking rugged. And then, yeah, after he dumped me, then I went on a... You know, he dumped me. Not only that, not only did he dump me, mm-hmm. but he owed me money when he dumped me. And he didn't pay grown me back. grown as money is only teenager money. Yeah. I remember I borrowed my dad Christmas money so mm-hmm. I could give it to him because he was in debt and he needed to pay his friends. So I gave him some money. And when he dumped me, he didn't give me my money and I was very bitter and mm-hmm. I was like... Now I really need to leave. Mm. And so I was like, okay, where do I go? Where do I go? And somebody had been to Vienna and obviously I've watched Sound of Music. So I was like, I've that's the only it. association I had of Austria. And of, what the fuck is Sound of Music? The hills are alive with the sound of music. Know. You know you're Austrian when you haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> if you say uh, yeah, Fila, 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 Maria. the Philharmonica, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Well, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's okay. called Sound of Music. It's mm. a very famous movie acted by Americans based on Austria, and but it's like Austrian countryside. It's like yeah. Indian and yeah. 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 And yeah. so then um, this lady was like, I've been to Vienna. It's a very beautiful city, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. All you need to do is learn German. I was like, learn German? Mm-hmm. But I was like, either that or I stay in this country. Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking no. I tried Germany. I tried Switzerland. So I was applying to all three countries at once. But Vienna, there was something about it that was so special. There was really something about Vienna that was just like, even the pictures, even when people did like traveled to Vienna, it was just like on YouTube, it's just, it's a different ball game. But we always forget that Vienna is actually really, it's really special. Oh, Vienna, Vienna really special. And it has from, from a lot. A, from an outside looking in, but the thing is Vienna doesn't have the grimy, grimy scene, which is the, the fun aspect. No, but it's okay. It's perfect mm-hmm. because yeah. it doesn't have both extremes. Shame. You know, it's bad. actually a very nice retirement village. I'm not going to lie. Really? Yeah, I would say. <laughs> yeah, so then it was also the most livable city in the world. Which is mm. school is fees is cheap, mm-hmm. living conditions are cheap, and I was like, okay, never been to, never been to Europe, never been to Vienna. Was this your first time coming to Europe? That was my first time coming to Europe, and okay. I was Jesus. like, your first okay. time traveling overseas? No. But just coming to Europe. And I was like, okay, this is going to be exciting. My cousins had also traveled to Vienna Mm -hmm. a lot and they loved it. And I was like, I trust you guys. So I applied. Mm -hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. I got into Germany too. But Mm -hmm. then I... um, Which city? I was going to go for an FSJ in Nuremberg. I know. I know. I know. But it was Nuremberg. It was my my entry point. I was Mm going to work for one year in the volunteer thing Mm -hmm. and then go into school. Mm -hmm. And then Switzerland was just a struggle, man. It was just a pure struggle. So then Vienna sent, told me, you you don't need an interview. You know, Kenya, you don't do an interview. And then your visa is ready. So I was like, okay, Germany. Deuces. Then I came. And the rest is history. Yeah. So cute. (laughs) Oh my God, I'm relieving. (laughs) <laughs> Actually, it's my anniversary. Like March seventh is when I got my visa, so it's cute. That's actually Aww. nice. Yeah. Okay, compared to all of those countries that you mentioned, obviously Vienna, Vienna is still the best. Vienna though. is the best. Because okay, in terms of Germany, if you're not living in my my opinion, like in Berlin or Hamburg, Munich or no, Munich, Munich is crap. Like okay. you won't, <laughs> you literally won't like Munich. Okay. Then Vienna is still the best in terms of like German speaking countries. Because mm. Vienna is quite big, to be fair. It is. And there's a lot it's of big, but it's not. Like too, too big. big. It's yeah. not overwhelming. Population wise, it's big, but not geographically Size, speaking. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Montego. It's actually my anniversary today. Of how many Coming years? To Vienna. Yeah. Three Cute. years. You too. Oh my God. Yeah, time has flown. Gosh. Hey. Time has flown. No. The thi- <sighs> when you go back in time, it's almost emotional because you're it like, is. Okay. It hey, is. You, why did you come? 
when you came mm-hmm. or why did you come at all why didn't you just oh, I stay just in w- south africa i just wanted to change the scenery i always knew i didn't want to live in south africa mm-hmm. i never pictured myself i don't know doing what everyone else was doing there mm-hmm. going to school did it, and like I just didn't picture myself being in Cape Town at all. But I would, I would trade, I would trade with Montana easy. Are you crazy? I've seen Cape Town; it's beautiful. Oh, God, Cape Town yeah. is beautiful, but you know, it's like it's because you have seen it. So it's like for yeah, me, like living in Vienna, like, like ah, Stefan <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, you know. I mean, all the locals in Bali just think, "Ugh, it's normal." But yeah. you know, we think, yeah. "Wow, yeah. you know, yeah. the so grass is always green. Oh, no, the grass no. will always be greener somewhere else." And I wanted that freedom, I, mm-hmm. and I didn't have that growing up. I was very sheltered, very closed for numerous reasons. And I just wanted to live a life that the youngsters was living. I came here on holiday quite often because my I had family here. And then I would always be so jealous of these kids just getting in the train with they with their mm. friends and just going. Yeah. Where are they going? No, I go. also want to go. <laughs> interrail, know? interrail. That's what a lot of people do. Just get no, in the but train. even in the Mm -hmm. it was these small things you know Mm -hmm. because small freedoms yeah but us we've got public transportation but i didn't use it Mm -hmm. and uh, probably sometimes and especially back then maybe it wasn't as safe to Mm -hmm. use it or i was privileged enough to have a car so then i wouldn't need to use it and i was jealous of using public transportation (laughs) for me it's a luxury Mm -hmm. for me it's generally i really love public transportation to be fair i i love it to be in a country that the public transport is so good and reliable. Even in Nigeria, like the public transport. But I must say, I've seen on Tiki Toki, I've seen on Tik- <laughs> I've seen on TikTok that South Africa has upgraded their public transportation. Their trains are all new, and I'm thinking, wow, wow. it's looking enticing. Do you guys have a metro and now? I, you guys have a metro now? We always had it, but mm. it was just not the nicest. And mm. now they're finally upgrading. You know. Mm. What can I do? Do you guys have a metro? I, Really? My tattoo culture all the way. What? <laughs> so Nigeria we have a metro and you You uh, guys have nah, a metro? On, you have a metro? I know. <laughs> Kenyans do better. Shout out, shout, out to, shout out to Lagos, LA. What up, baby? <laughs> so LA, all this LA. LA, LA all the time. What? You guys have a, like, have a underground? Of course, not underground. It's no, overground. it's just like an S-Bahn. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's we have one, but the long distance ones, not no. within the city. No, we, we, have, we have one now. Wow. Ours is looking yeah. very fancy like European ones, wow. by the way. Better than Vienna's. I've actually thought of relocating to South Africa, given it a thought. But... Uh, if, if you find a job, like, come on, this... Like, anywhere where people live. That's, 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 that's <laughs> a, come on, that's the place for me. I mean, I wouldn't re- relocate now at all. You have, you have government there. Is for, you, is, for you, this place no, is crap. But, yeah. But then that's, take it as someone who's lived there. Our government... It's not the best at the moment. Well, that's and exactly why we want to live there. It's like... Yeah, um, do you guys want power outages for four hours no, at a time? No, thanks. Hey, they're, but, but, they're wait, not wait, wait, better. Wait, 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 wait. They're, they're worse. <laughs> they also have power Come to Nigeria. outages. <laughs> I know, but it's terrible. Like, my parents always complain, and my friends, you can't do anything. And I you guys really have a power outage in, in South Africa? Yes, we I thought have power outage. I thought that's a West African but thing. But then... I also thought so. It's, no, I remember... I remember but do, you have, do you have a generator? We don't have, no. And you guys don't have power outages. No, because it's not yeah. never been that bad to the point where they need to. No, go. Every Nigerian it's has not, a generator. It's not like it's like two hours at a time, two hours twice a day. But sometimes, and it depends on what area you live. So each one has their own their schedule, and sometimes it's irri- it's it works on your nerves. It's just irritating, it especially if you've come from having electricity and now there's someone no electricity. To be fair, I will, I will only be annoyed in terms of the freezer. I mean, come on, yeah, my, no, my food always gets spoiled. The food gets spoiled. Your your anything electronics. Imagine switching on, switching off, switching on, switching off the whole time. I feel like that also gets spoiled. Yeah, that definitely gets spoiled. And yeah. there's a lot of different things. I don't know. And sometimes it's like at times when you're getting ready in the morning and you need electricity. Imagine you're getting ready for school or for work. No electricity, no hot water, no nothing. Cold, especially in the winter times, it's cold. And then when you get to work, there's also no electricity. Or when you come home, you can't even cook yourself a meal. There's no electricity. But we never bother. We always like, we have gas. So it was never a big thing. And in Mm. summer, it's fine. Because daylight, Mm. it's long. It's hot outside. Mm. No one has air condition in any case. So, I mean, it's fine. Mm. You just go to the ne- the nearest shopping mall and you're in the shopping mall. <laughs> oh. well, they, well, then you have to live in the white neighborhoods. No, every neighborhood. Even the white neighborhoods, come every on. Every neighborhood. Nah, come on. I can't believe that the whites are I lived like in this. a white neighborhood. Every neighborhood. 
It's just maybe the country is going through a power shortage. Or yes, something. I'm telling you, it's scheduled, guys. <laughs> oh. At least it's scheduled. At least it's scheduled. So in Nigeria, they're Imagine buying, it's they're like buying boom, generators. Out like of everybody nowhere. has a generator. Like they call it, I better pass my neighbor. Which basically means my generator is so loud that it overpowers my neighbor's generator. Like, I better pass my neighbor. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Nigeria is the ah, come on. Okay. Yeah, I know. But I would I, say Lagos because the, Lagos is so the small. The population. And the population is almost like, they say 25 million people. Oh my God. Living on a peninsula. This, this is crazy. So, but if you live in, uh, not in Lagos now, like That's other areas. That's half of Kenya's population in I know. one city. So, South Africa's too. How many people are in Kenya? 43 million okay. or something. Kenya? Like not more? Something. No. I don't know, you guys are on the hundreds. No. Really? 40? 40. That's like, that's like almost the like entire Yoruba population. Yeah. That's one tribe? That's one tribe, yeah. Like, no Yorubas are you guys like... also look all the same. No wonder you're so <laughs> many. You guys Everywhere seen, you go, Nigeria, Nigeria. And they all look the same. But it's the also, men. yeah, but it's a West African thing because the Yoruba culture kind of like, it's, it's in West Africa. Oh. Cuba, then you have in Venezuela, Colombia as well. No wonder Brazil. you. No wonder the back then the people could just take you, take them and slave trade. Yeah, dump yeah, them. But they sold them as well. It was like I delinquents know, that they sold themselves. I feel like your country is so big. Hey, didn't no, Nigeria is very big. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, Nigerians would never kill themselves. Oh, Yorubas would never kill themselves because they have a great fear of water, which the Igbos did. The Igbo landing because they killed themselves. They were like, nah, before I put, before I'm in chains, I rather kill myself. So that's why there are not as many in the. In, the, in America, so okay. exactly. But they're not, yeah. Interesting. Were you guys involved in any slave no, trade? Do you know how we, oh, yeah, obviously, like mm. the Arabs. Okay. But that was like in the 17th, 16th mm. century, but not like the mass slave trade that they experienced. Mm. Yeah, it was really wild. Yeah. Fun. But yeah. Oh, we, we drifted off into black history. <laughs> well, uh, that's that's important as well. That's, that's but yeah, so, so being here then in Austria the first time, in Vienna, how was it actually like doing all of this ma- magistrate work? But how would you know actually? That's one thing that really always interests me. How I me. knew what it. like to go to the mail, the arms, and all those things. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. really grow up really quick. That's what I'm saying. Like, like move no. out on your own. It's, you have to figure it out. Literally, you have to. But how would you know? You ask. You ask around. You make yeah. friends. You ask them. How do I do this? Exactly. How do I navigate? But, but this? I'm asking because if you meet the right, uh, the wrong guy, it would be like, look, I've never done this. I've never gone to the magistrate or. How can you mean? Obviously, you make friends with international students and oh, they okay, okay, show yeah. you how mm. to do stuff. Well, okay, no? well, for you, it had to be easier because. Yeah, for me, it was easier. Mm. I had an aunt and she was excited about everything. Because so. obviously, now I would know because I've lived in a white country. This is yeah. what they do in white people's yeah. country. Like, go to the magistrate and feel all those things. But as I a 19 year old. It. it wasn't, you know, at least the offices were organized. Yes. Everything was yes. good, sharp, sharp. So it's mm. just like, mm. and also in Austria, they give you, instru- in Kenya, they give you instructions. They're like, when you get to Austria, do Ooh. this, yeah, do yeah. that. Make sure you hand this in, this address. They're like, if you have any questions, this email, yes. mm. they're good. Yeah, I mean, it's good to inform you people in any case because if you guys wanted to say, for example, go to South Africa and you're underage, they'll tell you at the embassy office already when you're applying for whatever. Mm. Even on the websites, you need an unabridged birth certificate. My right, you need an unabridged birth certificate. On the what? Unabridged birth certificate. Don't on ask the me bridge? What, unabridged. Unabridged. I don't, know, I don't, I don't know. even know what that is. Unabridged. But <laughs> if you're going to South Africa with your small one, you need an unabridged. Man, were we not stopped at the border for that? In our own country. But in any case, you know, there's small things like that that you'll find out. Yeah, that you the need. embassies are really, really competent mm. when it yeah. comes to That's communication. True. Nobody asks you for a bribe. No. Like anything for the boys? No, like just put it in between the. <laughs> nothing for the boys. <laughs> no, nothing. But I remember nothing. feeling so excited. Yeah. But scared. Yeah. Because you don't know. It's like the possibilities are endless. Endless. Yeah. And you don't, you can't even pinpoint. But it's sad leaving everyone you know behind. The only thing you know, leaving them behind. Was it that sad? That was my asking. Like, I was you. really excited to leave. You guys, I didn't care. I was like, ciao mama, ciao papa. I didn't even cry. I didn't even I cry at the didn't. airport. I got here and I'm like, okay, relax. But I was so excited. Sometimes I really crave that feeling. I really, really but what is crave feeling? that because feeling. We're still ignorant at that point. Sometimes so I'm like, should I just pack my bags and Honestly, just leave? But the worst part about now mm-hmm. leaving Vienna is that, you know, back home, your family is your family. 
you know they'll always be there. Mm. Here, you picked your people, you picked yeah. your friends, and now leaving them behind is like I picked you, mm. and now I'm just leaving you. Aww. So now it's I think it's harder to leave Vienna mm. than it was to leave Kenya. Does That's that true. make sense? No, it makes sense. Makes sense. Well, obviously, now you picked your tribe. So those are people that you actually like. Yeah. The family is like it's a default setting. Yeah. I've done it. Not I'm not saying I've done it so many times, but I hate it and I love that feeling at the same time. Where the first time I experienced that feeling, I was like, "Oh my gosh, I need to have it again." Yeah. Did it again. Oh my gosh, I need to have it again. Yeah. Did it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could even do it again right now. I'm on mm. my third try. I could do mm. it again. But leaving Australia is quite difficult, in my opinion. Leaving. Yeah, leaving Australia. I could leave. Give me. A plane ticket tomorrow to anyway yeah, and, some like, that, <laughs> and some money and some money and Montana is yeah, there. That's the thing about the quality of living that you have in Australia it's is really where, wherever you're going has true. to be in a, you have to make the same true, amount true. or even plus, and that's quite difficult to achieve oh, unless sure. you want to live in Scandinavia. But I know I don't want to live there. You know, after we went to Stockholm, I mm. thought I loved it. Then afterwards, I came back and I have like that uh, post-travel depression, mm. and I'm like. Actually, Paula was raving about that I was place. raving about the because place. But new, now, no, new. no, it was new. I think yeah, it was that excitement. Exactly, yeah. But then I remember the last day we woke up and the sun was not even up and it's 8 a.m. And I'm like, excuse, sun, mm, yeah. where the cold. Then it got to a point where I'm like, actually, if, maybe if you could ship the city to Vienna, like to where Vienna is mm. and the climate, maybe I would be open to it. But then... Mm. There, really, there Stockholm. Also, there was also no. For me. There was diversity, but not like Vienna. You know, Vienna has like the Balkans, the mm. Africans. Even though sometimes we know we're a nuisance, mm. but it gives the city like some life. Stockholm was just. It was actually. You know, Vienna used to be like that too. I remember mm. coming here. Yeah, that's as true. a small child or whatever, and like young teenager. Yeah. And it was the worst. I'm looking <laughs> around. There's no one. There's no people of color. Everyone's just staring at us. Everyone's just unfriendly. And I'm just like, what is this city on? Oh, no, I hate it. I actually hated coming to Vienna. Mm. And then I'd always, we didn't like somehow avoid Vienna. And we'd rather go to the countryside with our family because yeah. it was just so much better. We go to the Netherlands, or, you know, where mm. there's more diversity. But Vienna... No, you Vienna, Vienna, no, will Vienna has changed. Even changed. More. I found it and since COVID, it's time. even changed even yeah. more. You guys are lucky. Yeah. I still have to go through all the racism thing, you know. Oh gosh, coming sorry. to being in Vienna in the nineties, like it's, it's, it was not the same. But now it's actually quite cool. Even in the in the twenty teens and two thousands, it wasn't easy. But then was that was the slow change when you were yeah, kind of yeah. like changing, most especially when the whole football thing happened and you see the Alabas mm, now playing for Austria. Yeah. So that yes, re- that yes, really really yes, helped. Yes, so that that's yeah, that's, that's the definitely. kind of like the time when people were seeing black people also as Austrians. Mm. But, but now it's normal. Every white guy has like at least one black friend. Or even being in school, it's always going to be at least one black kid in the, in, in the classroom. Find it, I do still find it a weird topic. Why? I do that whole, I don't know. I sometimes don't know if they, if the friendship is sincere. I agree with Montana. Or is it, am I your token black friend? Am, am I, I your, Yeah, am I am there? I your, I'm your, not a bad your, white bro, person, so I, I have a I, black I'm friend. I'm from the hood. I also know. First Man. of all, <laughs> first of all, we don't have any hood in Austria. Exactly. We don't have what? Hood. A hood. A hood. <laughs> please, on, people, please. there's no hood in Austria. There's no, there's none. There's none. Like. I remember when someone told me that they were from the hood. I still in Vienna. To this we're day, being shady. To this day, <laughs> she still laughs about it. I laugh about it mm. because I'm like, the hood. Obviously, we're from Africa, Africa, as Mayo so, likes to say. Our hoods are our hoods. Are, that's, like, what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, you know? it's, yeah. come on. Oh, Obviously, there's like, some parts in Vienna no, where no, we know that are, things are, are going on. Like, Karlsplatz used to be mm. like a very drug infested area. Really? Oh. Like, have a dr- drug nation. Come on. I remember hanging Tell out in the, the park one time and I told my grandmother, and she's like, never hang out there oh, again. You oh, know, they okay, sell the drugs. Park in the first and seat. I'm like, I was just chilling with Paula. We were looking at the stars. Literally. I don't know. Yeah. That's all we did. In the summer, you know, that's all you do. You just sit down, look at the skies. Mm. And then one is like, my grandma said, don't go there because there's drug dealers. <laughs> and we also <laughs> went. Yeah. Like, I've never seen a drug dealer there. You know, in Kenya, a drug dealer, you know he's you know, a drug dealer. You know. You know. No, he but in Kenya, you, you also know, you know as well. But you guys have to see them. I, I know I know a drug dealer when I see one. Yeah, I know the Nigerians know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean, but they they tried to act so sneaky in the tram, like, 
and then they're switch they're they're they're, they're mm. like greeting they're each exchange. other we're like come on man I've like we know what you're doing but those like ones that. they don't want they would they would they would never get caught because they're small fishes nobody would care about oh, them okay, that's okay. why we don't really have a penitentiary system of in course, Vienna like of that. Of course, you guys are not the bigger drug dealers. You're just the corner yeah. boys. You, you yeah. said you more, of course. Okay. <laughs> I was damn. actually a bit scared coming here because I thought we were in the in the middle of Europe and sex trafficking. Yeah. Because I remember watching Taken and sex trafficking movies when I was in high school because they wanted to inform us about the, you know, the scary mm. world out there. And I was thinking, gosh, I'm actually in the middle of Europe. If anything mm. does happen, mm. you know, there's a lot of things that probably happen and we just don't know. No, so we don't speak I about them. I never want to know, <laughs> but you know. And also, we don't speak about them because they are. Okay, I have a few friends that are working in certain. You, can, you know a lot of people. Exactly. So <laughs> they tell me, like, what, what's kind of like happens in the on the belly of Austria I don't or ever Vienna. I know. But mm. yeah, the people are not allowed to speak about it. Otherwise, we just get overly conscious and mm. we don't want that to happen. Mm. We like to. Pers- to just hold that standard of, okay, the most livable, livable city. But when I came to Vienna, mm-hmm. I just thought, will I ever find love in this city? I'm not even no, lying. No, like, to this day, I still think it's so. It's a beautiful city. It's, I aren't. can get education and mm-hmm. I can get like a nice life. But then when it comes to love and relationships, it's just like, it's not there. Like, it's it, it really even feels like. friendships. It's, the dynamic works different. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I feel like I have to go to another country, fall in love, and then do the whole long distance thing and have the person mm-hmm. come to me because it's just like, and then, you know, because I'm another culture and mm-hmm. obviously my skin color is different. It's just like, I used to ask myself, why don't white people like approach me? Like, I know I'm beautiful. I know objectively mm. black, white, Indian, whatever culture I go yeah. to, I'm a good looking girl. Yeah. So it got to a point where I was like, What's going on so here? Now, so like, now, now you miss. Going on? Now you miss those guys I'm who can pest the pester in you. I know. I miss them. Like, <laughs> thanks. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Give me your number. I miss it too. But like when I came here, I'm just still. I had to ask people. I'm like, is there anything wrong with being black or being mixed or being Indian? Because the white people, they're not moving to you like no. that. No. And then you'll see a white guy with a with a white girl, and you're like. Man, you're so good looking. You could be with me. Literally, like, literally. Like, if you just came, if you just had the balls to come to me, it's I not, would rock your world. You don't even but know. You don't even know. It's not about balls. Up? It's not about balls. It's because like white men like white women. So, Ouch. so no, no, but that's that's how it is. Like, that's that's there. That's the default setting. Yeah. So for for a, for a black for a white man to actually look your side, that means yeah. he's. Is beyond dating white But then women. I also don't know, are you doing it because you want the one fun night? Yeah, that's, are you, that's, do that's, you, that's, you want to brag about yeah, it? Are you just curious about how black pussy looks? Exactly. What, what's the Oftentimes deal? they're actually and curious, yeah. You see, and that's why I don't do. since I came to Vienna, my legs have been like this. Because I ain't opening my legs for nobody. Because I don't I know if do I'm it. an experiment for you. Mm-hmm. You know? Feel, which is understandable. Yeah. And then I feel like it's even worse in a way, okay, I can't discredit you for yeah. your experiences mm-hmm. you know you go through your own things man uh, being mixed it too? has to be worse for you yeah. this, that's what i, what no, I was saying no because her it's like double her it's you get like it from both sides. she's getting I get it, it from the black people shame. and the white people mm-hmm. me with the black people it's like i know i can get you like why are you rejecting me i'm black you're black and mm. there's, they like, have that there's a level of entitlement yes, that definitely. i really don't like definitely. with the white people it's just like they're not even moving to you. And the ones that do, it's weird. It's, it's like weird. so obsessive. It's like, oh, you're from Kenya. I've been I've to been. Kenya. I've, I've had your safari, face. you know? Nee, 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 nee. And I'm like, okay, so you've <laughs> gone to Kenya. Now I must hook up with you. Or what What do you want? Like, I had an experience game. like game. this. This week, this guy was like, oh, he's been to Cape Town. And I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, very like, yeah. Why, why would you leave paradise? Oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh yeah, um, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. And he's like, but it's Cape Town. And he's like, looking at me so suggestively. Suggest- suggest- suggestively, yeah. Mm-hmm. Suggestively. And he's like, the people and the women. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Can we stop this conversation? It's actually... No, the thing is like, Austrians really, really love South Africans. I they really, really love it. They're, they're, that's the, the first, been, that's yeah. the first thing they will always say, oh, when you, when you tell them, okay, I'm from Nigeria, they'll be like, okay, <laughs> forget Nigeria, but they'll be like, yeah. Kapstadt. 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 Then they're obviously when they talk about Kenya, it's always safari. Never yeah. about the cities, but obviously yeah. safari. So or those the are the beaches. things that they really, really love. One of my dad's cousin 
He's actually visiting South Africa now mm-hmm. with his wife and a friend. They arrived last week. And every day they're sending me like what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm so jealous. I'm like, oh. But I've been there, done that so many times. But, you, you know, see? it's that feeling of it's so nice being a tour guide in your own country. Because, you know, you get a show off. You're like, mm-hmm. this is what this our is country what has. Mm-hmm. Beat that. I mean, we got penguins, bitches. Mm-hmm. Do y'all have penguins? No, you don't. We got a mountain. <laughs> you know, they boom. have dogs. Huh? <laughs> Pigeons. 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 <laughs> Pigeon story. <laughs> Pets. Okay, Water told me mm-hmm. that one of uh, uh, auntie said that um, the house pets here in Austria are pigeons. Oh yeah, the white people's really? pets. The white people <laughs> put no, pigeons. How would you believe that? I would believe anything. I was so susceptible to anything. Uh, very impressionable. Mm. You know, anything you tell me, I'm like, okay, cool. But yeah, that's how I feel about love in this country. Um, Did you make it, were you guys lonely? During that, that period, it was of time. really lonely, and I was actually—I don't know if I've told Montana this many times, mm-hmm. but I really appreciated meeting her. It was one of those things where it's like somebody that gets me, mm-hmm. somebody that understands me. No judgment, like we come from different worlds, but somehow we, it's like it was meant to be, it's and true. it was. But until that point, I was lonely, man. It was Aww. so lonely. You're like, yeah, you have friends, but you know it's the not worst. The same. It's, it, the worst part is you're hanging out with people, ha ha ha. But you know, there's never gonna be a deep connection. Never. Yeah. Nothing's gonna grow. I mean, I had my ex boyfriend who would come in and mm-hmm. <laughs> no, sweet of him. Out, but um, but yeah, beyond that, it was like I was just on my own, and it was just like, oh, okay, this is sad. This is lonely. I think that's the worst thing because me also listen to a lot of podcasts and um, people t- speaking about like leaving the home country and delving into a new challenge. It's actually very very difficult because you, yeah. we, I think, trying we, to find friends. I mean, we don't credit ourselves enough. Yeah, we don't. I, but don't. you know, this thing has really fucked us up. Also. Like that moving. Has Have really I told you about my theory? I think I told you about what was your theory? I always say, oh, it's, it's because of what we... We left the house really young. I was mm-hmm. 19. You were 19. 19. Hey, we had to grow up really quickly. We had to fend for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Although, okay, you're getting support, like f- emotionally, financially, whatever. Mm-hmm. Your support system is still not with you. Exactly, yeah. you. You're forced into so many situations. Look, we're going to the magistrate's court. We're doing this. We're doing that. We're doing so much on our own. How do you expect us to be vulnerable? Like, first of all, you've been lonely. Mm-hmm. You know that in this world, it's just you and me. Hey. It's really just you and you. And I feel like it's affected me so much with like friendships. I don't care if I meet you and we don't vibe. I'm like, that is what it is. Bye. Yeah. I wouldn't even I'm bother. Like and with love, it's like, I'll never drop everything for you because I know that I have the ability to leave. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's me. I've been by myself for myself mm-hmm. all through this yeah. time. I actually, I don't need you, but I want you. Right. Yeah. And there's that like where that's what I was telling you guys last time, like where if my partner is demanding like mm-hmm. more time or I want you to do this travel less. Cause when I was mm-hmm. in December, I wanted to go to Amsterdam, like to the Netherlands with Montana, but my partner was like, no, I don't want you to leave me. I remember thinking, <laughs> as who? As who? I, let but, me tell you now, I'll never. But, but I remember talking to Where my mom. you guys find this man? No, not leave. Not like that. No, but, like, no, but you're mature. No, you're but different. like, it's Christmas. It's time to be with loved ones. So obviously your significant other is like, mm-hmm. I want to be with you. But me and Montana maybe had made plans and they're like, okay, can you maybe stay for me? You know, one of those things. And in my heart, the first instinct should always be like, of course I'll stay with you. In fact, the first instinct should have maybe normal girls would have been like, I'll stay. It's you too much like sacrifice. Not no, it's but too much we're sacrifice. not normal. No, we're not like, normal. Goodbye. I ciao. would rather say, come with me. I, I didn't even think of that. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'm so used to being, to being on my own. I never thought to tell mm-hmm. him, come with me or mm-hmm. whatever. And I remember like, whenever I'm with someone or when I'm seeing somebody and they're like, Paula, where, where would you like to live? Would you ever stay in Vienna? I'm like, do you want to stay in Vienna? I have no answer for that. I, yeah, I also don't. And the worst thing you can ask me is, and what about for me? Are you crazy? 
Are you crazy? For you for what? <laughs> for you for what? You know, so it's changed us so much mm. where we feel like first we feel like this is not our home. We mm. have no home. Mm. There yeah. is no home. There is no home. Like on this earth, I can't so, tell you I have a home. Well, yeah. Okay, maybe maybe with my friends I can say Montana but, is but my home. My mom is my home. home yeah. yeah, now I'm just like floating in the clouds. I have mm. no home. And that means I just depend on myself. I love myself. Mm. It's me and me against the world. So for you to come in and be like and me, let me squeeze myself into your life. Like, no, fuck you. It's just me. That's how that's, I approach that's everything. How, so that's my my theory. <laughs> <laughs> that's the theories, you know. But that's how it actually is. For, for, it's the same thing for me as well. Because obviously I grew up here. Mm. But I don't feel like, okay, this is going to be my end of be all. And not even Nigeria as well. I just feel like I just belong in the world. But I like certain oh, parts of the world. United. Feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, being alone is, is difficult because you do have to be independent. And but as a human being, you can you can't just be independent all your all your life. That doesn't make no. any sense. But it's hard. It, it's hard trusting people, trusting someone as much as you trust yourself. You obviously trust yourself the most, and you think you can do mm. the best job for yourself. Yeah. Now I'm trusting Paula mm. with a little little. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, you should actually grow into responsibilities, even in a relationship. It shouldn't be like the first year I'm already asking you to stay. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know, let but me tell be, you. It should just be about fun. It should be about sex this, and travel. This will no, sound no. so cringe okay, or yeah. like so. Let's see if I can relate. I feel like if I fall in love, mm-hmm. I'll make the person my home. And I never want to feel like I that. Never, no, I get it. I never. Because I have no home and because I feel like there's nowhere in the world that fits me. There's no... My parents have lived their life. Mm-hmm. And I've made peace yeah. with... I'll never get to see, see them grow old or mm-hmm. whatever. So now it's me. And it's me. I have no home. I have no people to call home. Mm-hmm. If I fall in love, you're my home. You're which, my which is, everything. Which, that's the right... Then you break up. Are you crazy? Yeah, but no, that, no. But, but you have to make your... <laughs> You, the person, the right home. It's like, you, there's a difference between a shed and a mansion. Well, like, no, you'll like, always be, a, you'll yeah, always because, be building. <laughs> I'm not building. I refuse to build. No, but you'll build together. You'll build a future together. No, and, and that's the problem. And that's, and that's why I'm saying, Montana, like, I'm making this person my home. But the way, but the way you are saying it, in my Couldn't opinion. I just okay. marry my best friend and let's just be best friends yeah, but, forever but, and... And then get a random guy and we have children. And I don't know. I don't want to trust a guy and make him my home and build with him and build him. Because I don't have the energy to leave another home. I can't, I can't stand like, I'm being and so that's, poetic right now. <laughs> no, no, but that's the home where you've literally poured everything yeah. into. You've, gi- you've given your best. But it's good to give your best. Yeah, I've I've laid it out on the line. It's it's nice. No, but it, but for me, for, from from the outside looking <laughs> in, the way you are making it seem is like each and every person that you have made, you have already made them their no, your home. No, I haven't, and that's the problem. That the fact that I'm so independent has made me not love the way I should love as a human being. I feel like I just love enough for you to feel loved, and enough for me to feel like I can walk away. You know, I love reminding people that I can walk away. You the know, amount of me and Montana in 2021, we were seeing these two guys mm-hmm. and we would always say, I'll cut you off, I'll cut you off. <laughs> it became like our mantra. But you know, like, even when we started our friendship, mm-hmm. we would say, we don't know how long this is yeah. going to last because yeah. we might move tomorrow. Yeah. And look, two years later, we're still here. Yeah. But we know this. Any day... The yeah, but, 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 that's, but that's a little bit of a mature, maturity thing, yeah. Immaturity? Yeah, you can okay, have immature. Okay, like that. <laughs> no, but seriously. But it's Why are we immature? Because you... It's a fear of bonding. And yeah. it's a fear of, of also losing. abandonment. Yeah, so it's two fears combined. Yeah, but those fears aren't really that great for you not to build. Hey, you know when... You know how you live in fear so much that... You fear the yeah. fear more than the reality. Mm. So that stops you from actually living the reality. It's just one of those things where, yeah. of course, if you fall in mm. love, I've, I've, I think I fell in love. This, oh, infatuated. This last like very, very strong infatuation. Intense infatuation. Yeah. And I was like, and I thought like uh, when the relationship was going through its highs and lows and when it ended, mm. I thought I would die. I'm still alive and kicking. I'm okay. That's so then in my head, I'm like, 
Oh my God, maybe I really exaggerated that fear of abandonment. Um, and I was just living in my head. So I get one time I know. It's not immaturity. It's just like protection. It's defense. Yeah, it's all defense mechanism. But you guys have done so many things without knowing that what the future will hold. So why is it that w- that little aspect of your life is, oh, I will cut you off? I don't know. It's even worse traveling. It's, uh, like it's, moving you know, to guys. Like, let's well, be honest. Do you think you it's maybe control? You know, we're always in control, right? We had control of our situation. Come in back I home, want to leave you before here. you leave me. I definitely. I'm the leader. And I will show you. I'm the exit. I will show you okay, how okay, I do but it. You, you exited. What did you win? Nothing. The power you of leaving first. Yeah, but the power, the power of leaving first. You don't understand the satisfaction. And you always remember me for leaving first. I'm the one that left. Okay? Don't you forget. <laughs> You sound so <laughs> broken right now. That's, that's what I'm saying. When you when you guys get older, it's it's gonna be like okay, you left me, and then what? Okay, it's nothing. It's comforting. It is. It's not comforting it at is all. Comforting. I'm telling <laughs> you, it's comforting. Okay, maybe I'm because I'm a man. I can't. I can't really break it's up. It's comforting. I just break to up know with me. I prefer away. you breaking up with me. You walked away from the situation because also for us, mm-hmm. leaving our countries, we knew we have to leave now. If we don't leave now. We'll hate this place. Literally. We'll completely never want to be. Mm. So you're leaving before it gets to the worst point. Yeah, Even in sense. that relationship, in that friendship, mm-hmm. you can see the end point is coming. You can see it's heading to shit. So you leave. You and okay, but is it really heading better. to shit? Or it's a coping mechanism. Okay, but is it really heading to shit, or maybe you guys just have to steer off from that uh, iceberg? You think we haven't given chances? No. We no, you guys don't think. <laughs> I don't think you know. Yeah, we have it. No, but no, no. I mean, if I if I think about saying all the fr- the, I haven't broken up with anyone. I haven't mm. fa- fallen in love, but I've loved friends mm-hmm. like re- deeply. I let shit slide before I thought. But that's, but that's a friendship, and a no, friendship, friendship and is just, different. You know, and, and with, with my own com- with my home country to South Africa, I gave it chances. I gave it countless of chances. I said, no, let me go back, and you know, maybe it will change my mind. And didn't I? Mean, I felt so bad about so myself. So you just the leave place. before you get to that point. Yeah. You know, I think if you've it's a coping once, mechanism. Yeah, shame. yeah, but okay. Shame. One, 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 one funny thing. I uh, actually one real thing I heard this week was like we don't learn to dream. Okay. That, which means which you're feeding my delusions right now. No, no. Which basically <laughs> means like w- once you're once you're a kid, yeah, you dream. Yeah. But then obviously somebody starts telling you like, okay, oh, this is not real. Or you can never achieve those things. That's basically what you just said. That you are comfortable with fear, which you actually be actually actually also be comfortable with dreaming. Dream the craziest of dreams because dreams have no boundaries. But so you can, but with love, it's a different ball. Okay, game. but what is the different ball game? Your emotions. It's a drama. Man, it's you just, see, it's, it's just like it's just like the conversation we had before we started when we started recording. It's like the control that men have. Okay, I want to control my woman in certain aspects. But, but why? Why? But do I don't want to control you. Mm-hmm. I'm controlling me and how I'm handling this situation. That's what I'm yeah, controlling. But we, it's two in now. We are two in that sense. It's okay for that, me personally. I would, we are two together. I would never ask we? you. To, I can't do that. I would never ask you to sacrifice way too much at a very early stage. Like for somebody to be like, okay, don't go and travel, although we are only together for a few months. That's crazy. It has to be a proper reason. I always like to give reasoning. So if I'm telling you not to go, then it has to be a reasoning. Exactly. If my, if my wife wants to do something now. That was the same thing with my, with my wife when she traveled to uh, moves to to America. People were asking me like, "Why are you letting her go?" I'm like, and, I, and I said, and I told them like, "But that's a dream." So if we get if we stay together, then so shall it be. But if not, then obviously, am I gonna be hurt? Yeah, am I gonna cry? Yeah, but I'm gonna find me a white woman. <laughs> no, I'm just no, <laughs> nah. But it's life. That's the most beautiful thing that we can actually come together and still be together. But you guys want to control things that you can't control. Oh, I say it's we like can control this, but at a high price. Well, what is um, the price of this? The price is our happiness and uh, then, lo- and being lonely. Then it doesn't make any sense. I know, but you know, for now it's serving. Mm-hmm. For me, it's serving. No, of Actually, course, yeah. I wish I never fell in love ever. Because now when I think about it, I'm like, I'm broken because I fell in love once, twice. And Montana is broken by osmosis. Like... By diffusion, <laughs> but, man. But, but you know the worst thing is I've never felt lonely. You've never. I've never felt lonely. No, even the minute I moved here, I felt so at whole, at so at peace and so whole with myself. So, I ne- I don't feel lonely. Oh, you mean lonely with yourself? You've never felt. No, I've never lonely felt to the point where you need somebody else. Yes. Okay. I don't feel lonely. I mean, me, like I felt that. lonely. Oh. Me, I felt like during that those too. years when my wife was gone, I felt lonely. I don't. I was in the midst of people. 
And everybody knew that, okay, when my old company is the first guy to fall asleep because I was just like, nah, this, you can feel romantically lonely. I felt yeah. romantically lonely. Nah, I've never felt it. It's because I've also never experienced it. So what am I missing? Yeah, that's, that's I don't true, know yeah. what I'm missing. I see everyone else complain about it. It must be good. I don't care to find out. But being alone the whole week without having anybody, and this, for me, that's death. Oh, I did that during matter, COVID. Okay. <laughs> single lives matter, but okay. I, that was COVID, but I enjoyed it. I got to do things I love. But you Montana know, is I someone who really enjoys self-love, I must say. so. Yeah, it's because I've also come from a place when I did, I have felt loneliness mm-hmm. where I'm in a room and I've got everyone I want, you know, I've got everything I want in the world, yeah. but mm-hmm. I feel lonely and broken. Yeah. I've come from that place. I'm not in that place anymore. So I'm just good. You oh. know? And I have... Breaking, breaking Montana down is going to be one of the most difficult things that anybody can do, actually. Shame. Sometimes when I speak to my sister, I'll like tell her, oh, you know this. But actually, it made me feel like this, really. And she's like, oh my gosh. You're like an onion. I can never even... Your layers and I'm layers. St- I've got so many layers. And it's true. I sometimes... But I can't help it, you know? Like, even if I have a problem... I've, I only know how to deal deal with my by emotions yourself, and by myself. Yeah. And only months later, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, wait, you weren't there. Let me tell you the story. Mm. And I'll tell you. And then, <laughs> you know, it's like, gosh. No, but, but I feel like her too. Me, mm. if I have a problem too, I'll just deal with my emotions. I don't want to, you but, know, uh, Pisces Paula, you energy you don't, you, too. You, you don't deal with your emotions. I do. I feel like you are very ineffective with your emotions. Ouch. Yeah, um, well, I think Mon- I think Montana kind of like she grasps who she is and she knows. Okay, this is me. What you don't think but I we- deal with my emotions? You think I just That's a compliment? Yeah. <laughs> That's That's a finally, compliment. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what I do. I have a fear of how the emotion will affect me. So what I do is I just take the emotion under the carpet. Ah, that doesn't work. It does. It works for me. And you one think thing it, about me... It doesn't me, work for you. I think it works for Montana, but it doesn't work for you. One thing about me, I never want to cause drama. I never... I'm like a natural people pleaser, so I never want to... I hate con- I hate confrontation. <laughs> I hate fighting. I hate but anything. So, I, I don't know these people who thrive with that oh, stuff. Jesus. So, for me, even if I'm suffering, if someone has had my feelings, even mm-hmm. if I'm heartbroken... Imagine I'll just stay silent and I'll just be like, let me deal with it by myself. Oh, I can't yeah, but, stand but, people yeah, like but that. That just builds resentment eventually. Then you it start, does build you start resenting yourself and then not myself. Why would I resent myself? I, I resent see, and that's the, other the problem person. too. Mm-hmm. I resent the other person. But then But how can the other person know? Exactly. That that's the thing. I don't want them to know. I don't want anything. I just want to hate you and you stay away from me, full stop. But Do you but, know how many people you good people you lose by doing I that? Know, no, <laughs> I know my <laughs> oh, actually no what i blame this uh, mm-hmm. behavior on i blame it on being a middle child and nobody no, facts, will ever facts. understand nobody cares for you. Middle, middle yeah child. middle children you have to people please because the first one gets their attention the last mm-hmm. one gets their attention you're just there you have mm-hmm. to overwork you have to overachieve and only until i started therapy mm-hmm. is when i was like oh mm-hmm. my god all these things are as a result of me being a middle child. Like even with my parents, if I had a problem with them, I would keep quiet because I don't want to be. I don't. I don't uh, want. Well, like a... I just want to be calm. I just mm-hmm. want you to love me and mm-hmm. to just. I think that's where the people pleasing came from. And but now, your people pleasing isn't as bad as I feel like. No, now it's improved. Now, now it's now I'm now like, she's like got under control. Before I would just like really people please now i'm just like let me just keep quiet instead of people i remember <laughs> sorry paula i remember like i don't know you know and uh, maybe it's also her culture or you know just the way you grew up and things like that i remember there'd probably be we were in a situation and you know you don't feel as comfortable or i don't know randomly mm-hmm. but you're still like faking it oh i'm a faker man and i'm like <laughs> why are you faking it just walk away. Exactly. Or like, show that, like, I couldn't understand. But then, you know, each to their own, and yeah, I understood yeah. why. But, but now I've met the Scorpios and Montanas and mm-hmm. other don't cares. And now I'm starting to, that energy is rubbing off on me a little bit. It's not and the best like, thing. I apologize. So, but it's a good mix. If I mix the people pleasing plus the rudeness, yeah. I'll somehow find a middle. Mm-hmm. But I don't even know what we're talking about. This is such a big tangent we've taken. Mm-hmm. It was, yeah, it all happened by you guys just moving to Austria. <sighs> Oh, Would man. I tell anybody to move? I, I, I highly recommend it for every single person. Do you know what it is? It's not for everybody. It's not for everyone. It depends on what you're looking for. No. It's not, it's for, not everyone. for everyone. Not all of you need to leave home. Not no. all of you need to go abroad. And Some just because your you, friend is doing it doesn't mean that you must also 